Hi guys, today we'll be connecting Podman with MicroKTS Kubernetes. So we'll be creating pods, containers, and then we'll be feeding them into a local MicroKTS registry in order to use them in our Kubernetes cluster. It will be fun, so let's get started. Let's see what we have in our system with uh, Podman uh, pod ps. Uh, we have uh, one pod with the name of mime pod and it has two containers inside so we can take a look at them with podman ps minus a minus minus pod we see that we have um, one registry container uh, the default infra container which uh, podman automatically creates uh, for communication with the system as well as uh, one maria db database uh, container We've done this with the following commands. With this one, we've created the pod with the name of uh, my pod. And then uh, we've logged in uh, into the Red Hat registry using uh, podman login registry Red Hat IO, where we have entered our credentials. And then we have uh, run the MariaDB um, container inside of this uh, pod using this long command. Inside of our pod, uh, which is my pod, uh, we are creating a new container with the name of uh, MariaDB database, and uh, we're providing username and password, as well as database as environmental variables uh, for this container to be accessed uh, later. And we're pulling the image uh, MariaDB 103. And so once when we are ready with all this, we would like to see how we can expose this um, container uh, from our pod uh, directly in uh, Kubernetes. And so this we can do with the following uh, command. We will use podman generate cube and this will grab our pod and we will generate a Kubernetes uh, manifest and save it into the file devcontainer.yaml. Uh, when we execute this file, uh, we can see what's inside. And now we can see that uh, all the information that we have about uh, this uh, MariaDB um, container has been created. Uh, so this is our pod, and we have a name of my pod. Then we have in the specification of containers, our MariaDB. We're passing the environmental variables. And below we have the image. And this is the image taken directly from the Red Hat repository. And we see the name of the container also as MariaDB database. All right, so this gives us a proper format, which we can use in our Kubernetes distribution. So I'll directly uh, start MicroKTS. Once started, I need to enable the registry plugin. So I'll type MicroKTS, enable uh, registry. And here it's already enabled. And I can type MicroKTS kubectl uh, get all in all namespaces and we will see that uh, we have the registry pod running and now we use podman to push the mariadb image into the micro kts uh, registry we do this in order then for the newly created container to be able to pick the registry from our local repository and in the meantime we need to configure our local registry on micro kts so we will enter in the file registries conf in etc containers. And from there, we have listed our local host uh, here in the unqualified search registries. And the next thing we would like to do is to add a registry section. And here, as you can see, uh, we have named the registry to localhost and port uh, 32000, which is accepted by uh, MicroKTS. Also, we have uh, listed this registry as uh, insecure. So this is uh, what we need to do in the registry conf and also in our etc hosts file. As you can see, I have commented the IP version six address here, uh, which will also facilitate our work with micro KTS registry. When uh, ready, let's see what kind of images we have in our system. And we see that we are having the MariaDB image from registry Red Hat IO. And now we need to tag it properly in order to push it into our micro KTS registry. So I'll do the following uh, command. Uh, basically, we're grabbing uh, this image here 
and we are giving an attack of localhost 32000 MariaDB and uh, version 1. Afterwards, our images will have uh, this tag also in the system. And now we'll push it into Kubernetes with uh, podman push and then uh, localhost 2000 MariaDB. And of course, we need to specify the tag name. Okay, this will push the image and we can check our Kubernetes registry afterwards. So we can type curl and then the address of the registry and we see that uh, we have MariaDB into our uh, repository and as a next step we need to update our generated uh, file for Kubernetes in order to grab the image from our localhost registry. So I'll type nano dev container yaml and here where is the image I'll specify the path not directly to Red Hat but to our localhost uh, Kubernetes registry. So HTTP localhost on port 32000 and then we'll use MariaDB with version 1. And uh, when ready we are saving the file and the next step is to run it in our uh, Kubernetes. I'll type microkts uh, kubectl apply minus f and the name of the file and the container yaml we can monitor what's happening in the system with the command microkts kubectl get all in all namespaces and we see that we have invalid image name we can inspect what's happening with uh, microkts uh, kubectl uh, describe uh, port my port and we see that uh, something is wrong with the reference format of the image that we are uh, giving and that's because uh, we have uh, placed uh, the HTTP in front we save the file and then we will reapply it changes have been applied by Kubernetes and so now we can see what's happening in our uh, cluster and we see our pod is running in the default namespace so this is one way of uh, communication between uh, Podman and uh, Kubernetes. Keep in mind that it's nice to observe the configurations uh, line by line when using such automated tools. Nevertheless, Podman is saving us a lot of time in this regard. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the information. If you liked what you see, you can always subscribe to the channel. Thank you.